Musky, 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 musky. Advanced musky tactics on the fly. I have had the privilege of fishing with some good buddies like Nate Reese, the Broski brothers, Jake Preston, and Logan Martin. And these boys have helped me figure these fish out a lot better than I did on my own. It took me over a year and a half to bag one of these asshole fish. Though we never really figured these fish out, I hope my tips of when, where, what, and how can help increase your odds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Musky, 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 musky. So when is a good time to target musky in the mountain state? Well, select musky waters. You can catch these creatures year round. Spring is a great time to throw smaller flies, though they are spawning, so don't target paired up fish. Summer can be a great top water season, but don't catch fish in high 70 degree waters. That's just not right. Fall is my favorite time. Bigger flies can entice the big boys to play. And winter is many musky fanatics favorite time. Late winter is when they start to move up the smaller feeder creeks to begin spawning. Now cold fronts, they are not on your side, unless it's going into fall. After a long, hot summer, a cold front can get these prehistoric giants very active. Watch your moon phases. A full moon is magical, but so isn't a new moon. Two days before or two days after is still in that prime time. Of course, watch your major and your minor of your moons each day, the highest and the lowest point of the moon. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, they seem to eat more in these windows. So, where is a good place to target musky on the fly? Well, in the water of course. Well, not just any water. We like to stick to smaller bodies of water. One you can cast to almost either side from floating the middle. Deep rivers or lakes make it hard to get your fly down to where the musky are. Even with the full 500 grain sinking line, though it can be done, and some big fish are caught this way. Fish structure. Fishing structure is a huge advantage on the fly over gear base. You just won't get caught up as much. Muskie tend to tuck up under these down timbers. I guess for coverage, or it's just a good ambush spot. So cast at the banks, hit every spot that looks like it should hold a fish. There is probably a fish there even if it doesn't show itself. We like to target big pods of fish. If you see some catfish, carp, drum, there's probably a muskie hanging out around there. Oh, and of course them damn sucker fish. We like to fish below a waterfall or a spillway. Musky tend to pile up here because it's well oxygenated. And did I mention fish timber? Hit every damn log you see. So what is our next question? What fly that is? The fly isn't as important as matching the hatch for a select Spring Creek brown trout. Though matching the bait fish isn't a bad idea. If there are suckers spawning, throwing a bright orange fly could work very well. The size may play a factor, but really it's about the action and how it swims and how it pauses. Jig flies can be used in deep pools to get down to the bottom or when sight fishing in low clear water to pause that fly on the bottom to keep the fish's attention. Your fly choice should really be about your confidence in it and what keeps your attention. Many of my missed fish were from me taking my eyes off of the fly. I'm a big advocate of fishing two hooks, especially in a large fly. There should be a hook in the front and the one in the back in case of that mid-body T-bone, which is very, very common. The game changers swim very great. The pack tails add some vibration and attraction, 
but the good old faithful Buford should not be forgotten. Now we talk about how to fish that fly. Some days they will eat the fly on a fast retrieve. Other days they follow it into the boat, super lazy, and they may or may not even eat it. So learn to fish that fly on how the fish are behaving. Finish every cast with at least a pause half turn, or even better yet, just finish on a figure eight. Strip set, strip set, strip set. Do not trout set. Just strip set and strip set again. Oh, and one more time, strip set, damn it. Well, I hope some of these tips can help you. But just pay attention next time you're on the water. You'll learn more from the fish than any self-proclaimed expert like myself. Just kidding, I am far from that. But if you do want to hear some more tips, check back for part two.